Terror in Paris, November 13th, 2015, terrorist attacks. Background information. On the evening of November 13th, 2015, a series of coordinated terrorist attacks consisting of mass shootings, suicide bombings, and hostage taking occurred in Paris, killing 120 plus and injuring 350 plus. On November 14th, ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attacks, and they said it is in retaliation of the French government involvement in the Syrian civil war and Iraq civil war. The attacks are the worst mass casualty attacks in Paris since World War II. Semi-automatic guns, including AK-47s, unknown explosive devices, and more. Assailants. Radical Islamic extremists belong to the terrorist group ISIS. Police claim at least six attackers are dead, but are unsure if any other attackers are involved in the incident. Victims. The nationalities of the victims are majority French citizens, but a handful were British and American citizens. French government response. The French government imposed a mandatory curfew on the night of the attacks. They also closed all borders in Paris, France. He launched a terrorism investigation. The soccer stadium where a suicide bombing took place was placed on temporary lockdown. The Eiffel Tower was briefly closed. International response. The United States President and the British Prime Minister both gave their condolences to France and expressed their outrage and grief over the attacks and said they would help in any way the French government needed. Many moderate Muslims condemned the attack, including Hamas and the Iranian government. Unification of Mississippi. We stand with Paris. That was on YouTube. Solidarity was on Amazon. The YouTube call logo, red, white, and blue, symbolizes France flag. And Google, and their little thing on the bottom. Thanks for joining Walrus News Now. Have a lovely day.